All right, anatomy and physiology students, just a quick review of the tissues of the urinary system or the kidney and bladder and ureter. Just a reminder, when you're doing this, be sure that you're also on the course website getting that um, kidney wish list where you can see everything that you should know. There's also probably some images there for you as well. All right. A lot of what's in the PAL program for the kidney are um, things that we don't focus too much on. In fact, anywhere where you see focus on just all of the tubes um, and and um, ducts of the kidney, we're just going to skip those. So that's this. Here where you can see the renal corpuscles or the glomeruli or Bowman's capsules, you should be aware of those because they really stand out in the kidney tissue. But understanding the rest of the ducts and tubing, it gets to be quite complicated. So that's a good one. There's a glomerulus right there up close. Nice. That's, of course, where the blood filters out of the capillaries into the tubes of the kidney, and you can see that really nicely. More tubing, collecting ducts, loops of Henle collecting ducts. There's another really, uh, you know, highly um, magnified glomerulus. More ducts and tubing, more ducts and tubing, more ducts and tubing. Now we're into the bladder where you can see that nice transitional epithelium on the inner surface of the bladder, so please do be aware of that. The muscular layer under it, and of course that um, intermediate lamina propria or the submucosa where you've got all the blood vessels and nerves going through. Um, that's showing that uh, transitional epithelial layer might up close, much you know more clear than we saw before, the little umbrella cells on the surface. Um, and again, this is just a slightly different stain showing the transitional epithelium on the inner surface of the bladder. So that's pretty nice. The umbrella cells again umbrella on the surface. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, again, real up close of the transitional epithelial layer in the bladder. This is um, now showing the ureter, which also has a transitional epithelium on its on inner surface like that. So it's a, when the ureter is closed down, it forms that convoluted inner surface like that. Um, and of course, you have a lamina propria around it, blood vessels and nerves in the outer muscular layer. There's just a, a, sl a slightly higher magnified version of the, um, of the ureter and showing that transitional epithelium on its inner surface, just like the bladder has. And uh, just even more up close, showing the transitional epithelial layer on the inner surface of the ureter. So that's about it. Again, reminder to use the wish list when you're going through uh, these slides. Good luck.